viewers, this is Gossip with Queen and I am your host, Queen Madhu. Yes, I know it's been long you see this face. I am so sorry that I've not been bringing you gossip as it hot. It's due to some personal matters, but they have been resolved. And trust me, I will bring you the hot gist now and not going for any break again. Yes, today on Gossip with Queen, I have a very juicy story to share with you. It's about Imo State and their governor. Please, terrible. I'm just taking a look at Rochasi Sokoracha's wife, Estate, Akachi. I'm not talking about joining the church. Wonderful place. Look at what this man has used our money for. Wow. Wow. Pensioners are dying every day. Rochasi Sokoracha and the wife are taking our money, building exquisite homes. Exquisite homes. 20th time here, the security that is here is wonderful. Brothers, make on a look. What a wonderful place. What a wonderful place. It's left and right, too. Ah, left and right. What a wonderful place. What a wonderful place. God will punish these riches and his generation. God will punish these riches and his generation. That's payers money. Richard of Croatia has um, made him more politics a family affair. Yeah. You know that he's getting he, he's going in for um, Senate tickets, the wife is going in for House Federal House of Representatives the son-in-law for governor <laughs> and if the son-in-law is the governor then automatically his daughter is the first lady the second the second son-in-law is going for to going to be the deputy governor while his second daughter will go for state house of assembly this is what has been happening and um fpc denied them the ticket yes i think fpc has done something that for once, I like, just like what they did to Kenneth Okonko in the United States. That made him say, like, hee hee hee, and the APC is a, an alpha group, blah, 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 blah. In as much as I'm not interested in APC and I'm not interested in Nigerian politics, I think the decisions they take those days are quite good for all the selfish politicians. Because I don't understand why a particular person that, was, that had been a governor for eight years will want his entire family to join politics out of selfish interest, not as if they have the interest of other um, you know, other immolites at heart. They have other people that are going for this ticket. Why take your entire family to it? You see? Yes, finally the chicken has gone home to roast. So that is the best. When you 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 think that you have the entire power and some people clip it for you, you start crying more than the bereaved. He went out and started protesting when the hunter has become the prey. Simon protesting that his family was not given the ticket and uh, he's not going to be happy, he's not happy about it, blah, 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 and all that. Well, me personally, he's very happy. In as much as I am not interested in Nigerian politics, but this story makes me so happy. At least, let us stop hearing this story as a brother for once, now you understand. Eh? Imo Light, I know you guys are with me, I'm just wondering if there are no wonderful people there that can do something better for Imo Light. Yes, that is it, and just drop your comments down, and tell me what you think about Rosa Zokorota and his entire family going for a ticket, what APC did to them, and let us also, you know, have a flashback about what they did to Kenneth Okonkwo. Just tell me what you think about it, and uh, just share your view for me. Let's talk. Yes, down to my second story.
The Labour Congress have been going from one uh, strike to another, trying to increase the minimum wage from 18,000 naira to 30,000 naira. Out of the 36 states we have in Nigeria, only four states have agreed to pay the 30,000 naira. Other states say they cannot pay more than 22,500, in as much as the labor market, the labor, sorry, the labor congress has rejected that offer, they have still stick to their bargain of paying 22,500 naira. It is in this sense that we feel strongly that accept, uh, acceptable max, uh, minimum wage must be done in a manner that the total personal costs does not exceed 50% of the total revenue available to each state. <coughs> Governors therefore agree to pay a national minimum wage of 22,500 naira only. I'm just wondering, what if Nigerian constitution can be changed and this politician be paid 30,000? I don't, I don't know how, 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 how many people want to be the governor, the president, the senate president and all that. I, I, don't, I, I don't know if you understand me. A man that has like four to five children, you are debating to pay him 30,000 and each of them earn more than millions of naira. Millions upon millions of naira that someone who earns the minimum wage will never get even in the next fifth generation one of their salary the person that earns the minimum wage will never ever touch such money or smell such money and you sit down on your the comfort of their criminal seats and bargain what they will pay them it's <laughs> well you know when it gets to a point where you don't get crazy about nigeria i, I just i just i just don't understand i don't understand because Every single human being is supposed to be annoyed, angry, and go crazy for them. That constitution or whatever they call it, it's fraud. I can say it anywhere, it is a complete fraud. Because what I see is that the rich just get richer and the poor keeps going, going poorer. You're talking about minimum wage. What about maximum wage? Let's think about maximum wage. What about um, we make it like governors earn 150,000 naira? Our president and 200,000. Just think about it. Who will want to be the governor and the president of Nigeria anymore? They know the reason why they are going there. They know they are siphoning a lot of funds. They also know that they are being paid outrageously. Yes, it's outrageous. The, 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 from, from one allowance to another, they give them wardrobe allowance, they give them their clothing allowance or whatever, they give them uh, fuel allowance, they give uh, health allowance, medical allowance, and what have you. When you give them all those allowances, why wouldn't they fly abroad for treatments? They don't care about the health care in the rural area or the urban area because of course they don't go there for treatment. It is painful, but let's see how successful the Labour Congress will be in making them sign their the the deal of thirty thousand naira. In as much as thirty thousand naira is not okay, it's quite reasonable to three thousand five hundred and of course the late the, the former eighteen thousand naira. Just drop your comments below. Say me what you think about Nigeria and the um, entire madness. Just let's, let's discuss, let's talk about it. Tell me what you think that an average Nigeria should earn to, to um, at least be seen enough to walk the streets every day and in this, this unfriendly economy. Yes, because I think we should do this analysis and know how much an average Nigeria should get. Because if you ask me, I think that's telling is still poor. Everything has pirated. Everything is expensive, like very, very expensive. So if all those things are expensive, how can a family man with two children manage his family with 30,000 naira? 
that is if they even agree. So drop your comments, let's discuss about it, share your view, and tell me what you think about it. Yes, this has come to the end of my gossip today. I hope you do enjoy it. And keep subscribing. I have been seeing your thumbs up and I am elated. Thank you so much for watching our video. Thank you for the thumbs up. Please keep subscribing, share our videos, talk to your friends about BVI Channel 1. We are the voice of the people who will bring you the truth undiluted. We, not, we, 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 dish out our news without sentiment. So just, if you want the truth, if you want it undiluted, come to BVI Channel 1 and you will be glad you did. Till I come your way next week, from me to you, stay blessed and 